Hi and welcome to Visual C++ Print Function. I had to put this together because there's nothing like that on YouTube. That's why I decided to do one of these. So if you click on the print function, this is what you guys will see. You should be able to see the the, uh, the preview. And then you can just click on print button. I don't have print on my system. So what I'm going to do now is to take you guys straight into Visual C++ and we put one of these together. Let's do that now, guys. Hi, and welcome to Visual C++ Print Tutorial. I'm going to click on Create New Project. And now I will select C++. Let's click on Next. Let's give our project a name. I'll just call that CPP Print. It's a print function. There. I will now click on Create. Okay, now the development environment is ready. Let's click on the name of my project right here and select properties. And right there, right inside this property, I'm going to now select linker. The whole idea is for me to be able to create a form. So I will now select system. Right in the system, come to the other side of the dialog and let's select subsystem and drop that down. We need to select window subsystem make sure that is selected now let's go back to the link again now we need advanced inside the advanced I'm just gonna give the entry point I'll give it a name I'll call that main and there we go now the next thing is look look here we have the configuration manager select that and make sure this is set to Windows 64 because my system is 64 bit all right select that and we also need to change up here if yours is 32 just leave it as 32 but my is 64 that's why i'm changing that else there would be an error click on close now the next thing is click on apply now that we've done all that the next thing is come straight back to the name of your project right click on it and let's select add and inside the add let's click on new item and if you're wondering why am i going through this uh, creating a print function is because there's none on youtube i search i couldn't find it okay now that this dialog box presents itself let's select ui or you can select clr to so select windows form the window form windows form you selected has a default name my form i'm going to leave it as my form click on add now that the window is building up we just need to wait for we just have to wait for it there we go the window is finished building up but with an error why because we need to also add some other lines of code so click on the solution explorer that brings this up you see right here my form double click on my form dot cpp and that is it right here we need some lines of code which i have on I actually saw that those lines of, of code on a forum so i'm going to go straight to the forum that's the forum right there all the instruction on how to create a form is right here on the forum so let's copy this very line all those lines of code make sure it's copied i'm going to minimize that now paste that in there then the next thing we have to do is we must change the name the name must become the name of my project the name of my project is cpp print function and this error should disappear now you see the error is gone because i now have the the code now has the right name so let's go back to the uh, to the solution explorer or you can even click and run it you should be able to see the form now okay that's my form but we won't be able to do anything i'm going to close that form if we go to the solution solution explorer the form is not there so the only way out is for us to close this system so let's click on close by closing it we, we more or less refreshing the whole system then the form should be generated then there we go that's our form so i will now double click on the very form that's it right there and there we go guys now let's go back to the solution explorer we should be able to see the form that is the form now double click on the form there we go that's the form it's now live select the form go straight to the properties whatever size you intend to change your form to mine is going to be 1360 386 by 788 press enter that's my form ready now go straight to the properties here i will now select rich text box there one rich text box there maybe a title let's get a label for that there and i'm going to need a button one button here there we go now let's go straight to the properties for this button and change as follows i don't want this tutorial to take that long so we'll go straight to the properties change that to print 
and I'm going to change the name to BTM print the rich text box will be known as RT print and right here I'll just enter print function let's change the font size make that a little bit bold and change that to print function visual C++ print function there we go now the choice is yours if you want to increase the size of that and let's change this font as well make that bold there we go and now let's go back to the toolbox scroll right down we need two object there we need print document and because I would like to preview as well I will double click on preview as well so those are the two document select print preview dialog and come straight to the properties where we have the documents select that drop it down and let's select the document inside it that is it done now double click on this very print document double click on that and we now want the following library so let's come right there and reduce the size of that so that you guys can see it increase it a little bit there now press enter so what I'm going to do I will say system column column draw is it drawing yeah for us to be able to get the font column column font I will now give this very object let me give my the font a name so I've just called out ft string as the name of my font or let's just call it ftn okay and this ftn we now need to say equals GC new system font and whatever font you want to use you just add it there system column column drawing column column font get rid of this now I'm going to specify the type of font that I want let's assume what I'm printing I want it to be maybe time time new Roman time new Roman and I'm going to make the size about 18 and the fonts the font style we can set it for maybe let's say maybe bold or regular column column let's get rid of that so I can get this working properly column column let's go for bold okay bold and close that here I need to close this close this off there there we go okay we have an error here I think that should be uppercase yeah that's fine let's change it to regular anyway regular that's it now you know how to create a regular font and a bold font anyway so the next thing I'm going to do now I will say e dash that will be graphic graphics and dash let's draw drawing no that will be draw string draw string and the string that we uh we want to draw something on will be rt print and the rt print dash text and after that we need to now call the all our object print here paste that in there this should be dash text close this this should be text right okay we have a print object there comma and I need to specify the brush that I'm going to use I think it's going to be brushes let's make that black you can choose whatever color you want and comma by printer location or the the print preview location I'm going to make it 120 by 120 you can make it 0 by 0 and that's it anyway the choice is yours and that's all the rest of it so look at the take a good look at the lines of code properly there okay that's it all done so all we need to now do is to get our button to 
to get it activated so let's come in here double click on the button now right then right here all we just need to enter is print preview print preview dot dialog no print preview one is called okay we we'll say dash show yeah show show dialog one and we enter parenthesis yeah. this is not uppercase it's lowercase I should do it now there we go and why do we have this error here I'll get rid of this one there's no one there the one is all over. okay that's it that's it it's ready now okay now let's run it and while I'm waiting for that to load up I need some text so let's just enter some text in there Uh, let's make that maybe 20 by 20 no that's too much 12 by 12 and press enter you guys should see what I'm what I'm up to here so that you know if you want to do that too for those who might not know so just press enter there and that should generate some text for you guys to use there we go those are the text I'm gonna copy it all copy and let's go straight down to it it's ready now paste that in there there we go so the next thing is click on print we should be able to see every content in here on our print preview look at that okay then you can also set your print preview the way you want it to look like and that's how you create print function in visual c++ with that i'm just going to call it the end of this tutorial thanks for watching and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel there are a lot of benefits to that you all have a nice day. Bye for now.